traders, how we doing? It's the weekend, the market's closed, so we won't be seeing any action here, but I wanted to uh, do a little short video on the upgrades to the uh, dashboard. This will be version 8, and I made a couple changes or additions. Uh, one thing I did notice, of course this is last Friday's uh, half swing and semaphore thing showing on the screen here. Now one thing I did notice that I had noticed before was when you do the stats and if you had the uh, heat map on it would come up over the top of the right side here. It wasn't be, being removed when you brought up the stats. So I have fixed that so now when you bring up the stats the heat map is not overlaid over the top if you had it there previously. And as you all know, if you bring up the stats and look at them and you want to go back, say you had a graph here, you want to go back, just remember to scroll through. In this case, I got an FRI in there for Friday comment to sort it out. Just scroll through them until you get back to the stats one. And if you had a graph here before, just hit the basket equity. It will come back. If you hit the reset, of course, it's gone. That's when it gets eliminated. Okay, so uh, like I say, when you brought up the stats, this would stay on top of it if you had this over here. So I have fixed that now so it goes away. Just a minor little thing. I have noticed it before. Okay, so what I have done, as you notice up here, we now have... Uh, <coughs> the sessions listed. Session 1, 2, and 3. And as you know, these are what's back here in the uh, settings under trading hours. Session 1, Session 2, and Session 3. I just call them that up here. And what you can see now is grayed out is the actual times that you have set up in these sessions. And you can see they're all the same right now. So if I set one of these up with any time or different time and set it to true, it will show up here in green with that time on it. And you can also, say if you set up times here and you forget to turn them on, and as you know, if you come back to the properties and make any changes and hit OK, it will remove a lot of this stuff. It will still track the profit loss, but everything else will get removed and started over again. So that's why you, you don't want to go back into the properties and hit OK. If you do go back and look at properties, remember just to hit cancel when you're done or the red X up here. That way it won't make any uh, erasures over here. Of course, you can't make any changes that way. But now, if say if you set up times here and you forget what they are or you forget to turn them on, you can go up here and just click on the session one or whatever it is and it will come up here. And as you can see, since this one is set up for 24 hours, it does show you that the trading session is open. If this was set up for a time that uh, we were not presently at, this would... Uh, tell you that the, uh, the trading session wasn't open. In this case, uh, it says no trading time selected because we haven't set any to true back in the properties or we haven't turned on any here. So now you can turn them on here. You can't change them here. They gotta be still have to be changed back in the properties. But at least now you can turn them on and off up here. And you can also see what you have them set up for. So that's just one little minor change. And then I move the uh, times over here. Broker time is on the top. Your computer time is on the bottom. They're over here now to get them out of the way. They were over here before. And this is version eight. Okay, one other thing I did make a change to is the uh, market filter. Now if we go into properties, And we go down and find the 
market. There it is. Right now, it the default is 0.2, which is 20%. What that means is it will filter in the direction of the market when one or the other, long or short, is 20% more than the other. In this case right now, it is over uh, a little bit under 50%, I guess. So you tra subtract the 28.6 from the 71 and uh, a little bit under 50%. So we're well within our 20%. So right now, If you were to use the filter, first time you turn it on, just like before, it tells you what the percentages are from the open of that particular pair for the day. This particular one is uh, up. The pound Swissy is the biggest mover since the open of the day. It is up 0.729% above the open. you got some that are down. And by looking at this, you can see that there's a lot of green ones which kind of correspond to which way the market is open, it's, uh, moving here. Okay, so that shows you that with the first click. Now with the second click, it does the filter. Now remember, this does not take trades. The filter does not take trades. It just filters trades coming from the TS. So you do have to have a, a TS on your charts to feed a signal over here. And then say you got a, a, a long signal up here on the Aussie Canadian dollar. And since you got a, a buy signal over here, due to the market filter, it would take a buy if you got the button turned on and you're in a trading time. And you got the TS button turned on, of course. And you do have a few here that there's no trades. Like the Swiss Japan. Because see these, if you look down below, the Swiss Japan is way over here and he is below the market open or the daily open for that pair. He's below it. The Euro Yen, which is also no trade. So all of these red ones, Euro Pound, no trade. They have to be going the same direction as the market. So all these ones in the green are green and will let you take a buy trade because they are all above the daily open. Now that doesn't mean they're still moving up, it just means they're mo they're above the daily open. So they could have shot way up above the daily open and have moved back down but are still above the daily open. And the red ones are below the daily open. And so that does not match our market move which is only letting us trade in the long direction right now because we're at least 20% to the long side here. So the only ones right now that the filter would let you take a trade on would be the green ones in the buy direction. And they are all above their daily open. Now if you go back and change this To zero and first click remember same thing as before second click now you notice you have buys and sells now we are only filtering according to what's down here so if it's green you can do a buy on it. If it's red, you can do a sell on it. We don't care if the market is moving up or down. Now, when I say market here, what I'm referring to is all 28 pairs. 
it just looks at all of these 28 pairs and determines how many are moving up, how many are moving down from the daily open and figures these percentages down here. So now if you set that to zero back there in the settings, then it works just like it did before previously. You can trade either direction, doesn't matter which way the market's going. All it looks at is if you're above the daily open in the green case or below the daily open. So that's what that does. But if you turn it up, let's see here. Once if we set it for say we set it for 60%, we shouldn't get any trades, right? Uh, so we set this for 0.6. And okay, now we're going to filter. This one has to be 60% above that, which would put it at 88.6. Well, you can see we are not at that. We are below it, so we should get no trades. And as you can see, we get no trades because we are not 60% difference between these two. 60% difference would, in this case, if you added 60 here, of course, you'd be 88. But if we put, put you over 100% over for the total, but the difference would have to be 60%. That's why we're getting no trades. And I'm just going to hit reset, which puts it back to 20. Now I'll probably change this so it, uh, I'll put the default in here as a zero. So it's like it was originally. And then you guys can change this if you want to, to uh, what percentage. Remember, it's a decimal point. So 0 0.2 is 20%, 0 0.3 is 30%, like that. So. Don't forget the uh, decimal point. So right now I just put it back to uh, point 0.2. But like I said, I'll change this so the default is zero. So it always comes up at zero, and then you can set it at whatever you want it to. And this was just something I was testing at, so I didn't have to keep setting it. So now if I hit OK, now we're back to 20%. And you can see we come back now like we were before. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no trades. Six, seven, eight, eight, no trades. And the rest are all possible buys. Okay, so that about wraps it up. I think them are about the only changes I've made. Just those couple minor changes. So uh, give it a try. Let's see what happens.